have you heard of the books called the Millennium series? This is the latest book that I've read, The Girl Who Lived Twice. The Millennium series, you might not recognise it, but the, um, the first book was called The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo, followed by The Girl Who Played with Fire and The Girl Who Kicked the Hornet's Nest. And they are murder mysteries and they tell the stories of Lisbeth Salander, or Salander, however you say it, and a journalist, an investigative journalist called Mikael Blomqvist, um, who writes for a magazine called Millennium and does investigations and they're translated from Swedish into English and they were very famous a few years ago, The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo, a couple of films were made um, and Lisbeth is an amazing woman, she comes from a very dysfunctional family, very um, traumatic background but she is an absolute computer whiz and um, she can fend for herself very well and she meets with Mikael Blomqvist in The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo and together they solve uh, a pretty awful murder mystery and then they go on and have adventures in the girl who played with fire and the girl who kicked the hornet's nest sadly the writer stig larson passed away very young um and we thought that would be it there wouldn't be any more but then forward came um don't know how to say his name properly david lagerkrantz and he has carried on the series based upon stig larson's characters so there's the girl who lived twice and there are others as well and it's a continuation of Lisbeth Salander's story and Mikael Blomqvist's relationship with her which is mostly platonic they're like really good mates and um, uh, there's always a separate mystery a new story to tell but alongside there's continuing themes from Lisbeth's past so in this one um, there's a, a homeless man is found dead in Sweden and it's someone that Mikael Blomqvist sees every day and the death is strange it's not the same as you might expect for someone who's been homeless and who clearly was in sort of mental health in a mental health crisis and he starts to question this along with other people and that leads them on a whole labyrinth and journey um, to find out the background to this man the only thing I will tell you that it involves Mount Everest and that this man is um, a Sherpa and um, he's got caught up in a whole series of political events that as a Sherpa he would not have been aware of but led eventually to him being homeless and then being murdered on the streets of Sweden and Blockfist and Salander help with unraveling this mystery and then alongside that Salander's past comes back to haunt her in the form of her twin sister called Camilla known as Kira um, who also had a traumatic and horrible and traumatic upbringing but the way she's dealt with it as an adult couldn't be more different so it's a really compelling read fast paced it's very adult so you know it's not for the faint hearted but yeah I can't read to re wait to read more of their stories Lisbeth is just one of these heroes where you just know she's got it it's going to be alright because she's there and she can sort things out and I really like that but uh, yeah highly recommend it that's it for this week. Please subscribe and hit the little bell for notifications.